Hey, what is up guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden Ultimate Team video for you guys. Today, we have new Ultimate Legends that were dropped into the game. We have a wide receiver that everybody knows is one of the best Madden wide receivers, and that is Randy Moss. We have an Ultimate Legend, Randy Moss. We also have a defensive end, Javon Curse, the freak baby. Two of the best, most exciting players that they've added as a group that I can remember. Uh, now, not everybody remembers Javon Curse as being the freaking monster that I do. But I remember from like the mid Madden, like 03 to like 06 era, I feel like. Javon Curse was freaking unreal during that time. So, uh, yeah, anyway, guys, those are the Ultimate Legends that were added to the game today. So we do have uh, limited edition cards that we could potentially pull. Of course, it is also the Easter promo as well, so we could potentially pull uh, some uh, eggs and things like that. But what we're going to be looking for today, guys, is those Ultimate Legends. Now, one thing that I do want to do before we hop into the pack opening is uh, I want to go through here, guys, and take a look at this Randy Moss, see what it's going for right now. Um, I pulled it up a little bit ago, and it was going for a lot. Yeah, it's still going for a lot. 1.45 million right now for the standard set version, and 2.75 million for the limited edition version of this card. Now, uh, Ryan915 actually pulled one of the cards that goes into the Moss set, so make sure you go over and check out his video. I think he'll probably make a video on that. If he doesn't, uh, he pulled one of the better ones that you can get. I think it's worth over a million coins uh, to make the set Randy Moss. So definitely a great pull. Go over there and check out Ryan's channel. Um, hopefully he'll upload it. I don't know if he's going to. He's been kind of in a slump. So make sure you guys hit him up on Twitter and remind him that you want him to make some Madden videos. Uh, but anyway, guys, with uh, with that said in here, I go rotating through, of course, selling a bunch of crap. But um, what I want to do today, guys, is go through here and talk about the Randy Moss that came out because um, uh, real quickly again I want to pull this up right here for you guys you can take a look now this version of Randy Moss this is the limited edition one this is what we're going to kind of focus on today because it's the the majority of uh, what people are looking for so 95 speed obviously very very good uh, given the, where we are currently in the game 95 speed with 96 acceleration he has great catching attributes as you would expect out of a Randy Moss of course 98 jumping he's also six foot four so uh, all of that stuff makes him one of the best wide receivers in the game crazy spec catch really good catch in traffic route running which he was never that great at uh, but they still give him 95 route running great release as well so there's really not anything that Moss isn't really good at to be honest with you other than maybe run blocking but as we all know run blocking is kind of hit or miss in this game so uh to me i think this is easily the best wide receiver that's currently in the game but other people are really disappointed about this card um so what i'm gonna do today is talk to you guys a little bit about really why i'm not that disappointed in it and maybe it's just because my expectations aren't as high anymore i don't know but uh i'm not all that disappointed about randy moss anymore um and i think the majority of the reason why is because i just don't think that this year in madden we should be expecting as high of overall attributes. Like when we're talking about like the the amazing pulls that we've had in the past, um, that and the guys that had you know freaking uh, 99 speed in March, you know, and things like that. Like we just don't have that this year. A lot of people, like I said, are disappointed that Moss doesn't have higher speed and higher acceleration. Uh, and we get a Terrell Suggs elite here. But, you know, I'm not all that disappointed. I, I kind of think this falls in line with what we should be expecting at this point from the game. And I'm not trying to defend EA. If anybody knows me, you guys know I'm one of the first people to, to savage EA when they deserve it. And, uh, you know, a case could be made that they deserve it for not making a better variety in the cards. Um, I think I would probably agree with that. I don't think there's enough of a difference between a lot of these wide receivers that come out. Um, obviously, the difference between Moss and the rest of them is that he has the speed and the height and all the other attributes, really. Um, so, so again, I think he's the best receiver in the game. But, like, you compare him to other, you know, really good wide receivers that are out right now. Like, let's say uh, if you compared, like, an A.J. Green to a Julio Jones or something like that, the best A.J. Green to the best Julio Jones, you're not going to see, like, a substantial difference in their attributes. Like, for the most part, they're all going to be hovering right around the same attributes. And a lot of that, you know, has to do with the fact that they started off, in my opinion, uh, a little bit too high on some of the cards. So, like, we ended up not having big upgrades like we you know would have had in the past when they went over 100 on the attributes um we just have had plus ones and maybe plus twos in a lot of cases so like even when some of these guys that 
uh, won like the season uh, ending awards and things like that. They barely got upgrades at their of their previous cards. And like I said, I think a lot of the reason for that is because, you know, they're they're trying to set up and make sure that they're setting themselves up for the end of the year when, first of all, we're going to have golden tickets coming out possibly in the next couple of weeks here. Um, I'm assuming golden tickets, like the actual cards, will maybe even be the next promo after the Easter promo. We don't know that for sure yet at this point, but I kind of think that's going to be the case. And if it is then, you know, obviously golden tickets tend to be the best cards that they put out every year, and they have to leave room for themselves to make those cards substantially better than what's out right now. So if they give the cards, you know, a plus two or a plus three in some cases to speed and acceleration and things like that, we're already pushing that 99 limit on everything. So that's, I think, a, a potential problem here. And when I say the 99 limit, if you guys don't know, in previous years, EA actually made it so that the attributes could potentially go over 100 or an over 99. Um, and, and you would have like your boosts, like your, um, you know, your plus two to strength and things like that. That could push you up higher than what they had lim as the limit, which was 99 on the card. So in my opinion, I always thought that those things were BS. I never thought that they were real. And one of the reasons for it, and you guys can go back and check this out, I actually did a kind of like a test last year on attributes that went over 99. So like I, I did a speed test where I had guys that had the exact same speed, the exact same acceleration. Um, and well, I shouldn't say that. They had the exact same acceleration, the exact same attributes other than pure speed. Um, and so, like, I had the, um, who was it? The, uh, I think it was Dree Archer versus, I believe, Adrian Peterson. And Dree Archer's attributes actually should have put him over 100 in terms of speed. Well, he was running down the field at the exact same speed. I had them lined up right next to one another at the exact same speed as Adrian Peterson. They never were, like, faster than one another. So, to me, I looked at that and I said... That's a pretty good determination to me that the plus anything over 99 really never mattered. Um, and, you know, there's obviously some different things that could go into it. I had them running streaks, so there wasn't like a cut on their route or anything like that. A lot of people said, well, they have different route running, but route running, according to EA, should be when they're making cuts in their route. So if they're running straight, there would be no cuts. Um, but anyway, the, uh, the attributes, like I said, in my opinion, anything over 99 never mattered. So this year, after myself and even Texas Boy put out a video on kick power that showed that the kick power meter or the kick power, um, uh, the amount that you could get on a kick didn't matter depending on your kick power over 99. Like if you had 101 kick power, it wasn't better than 99 kick power. So we had multiple tests that showed this and EA to this day has still never actually shown for certain that their attributes over 99 made any difference whatsoever. So being that that's the case, I'm not, like I said, overly upset that they're capping it at 99 this year. And I think a lot of people have it in their minds that, you know, in the past we had Randy Moss and Randy Moss would get over 100 on a lot of attributes. His ultimate boss legend had like 104 catching and things like that. Well, if you determine that 99 catching and 104 catching are exactly the same, then what's the difference between the guy that had all 99s and a guy that had all 104s? There is no difference. So to me, I think they're kind of doing the right thing in that they're giving themselves a little bit of leeway still toward the end of the season to be able to put out more cards that are going to have higher overalls uh, or higher attributes in these certain things that we look for, specifically speed, acceleration, um, you know, catch in traffic and, um, you know, various different attributes like that. All of that stuff matters a lot. So we really want to make sure that we're giving ourselves plenty of leeway after the current stat that we have right now. A lot of guys having like mid 90s overall or mid 90s attributes and they're getting to 99 overall. Yes, uh, but there's still a difference between a guy that's maxed out at 99 everything and the current cards that we have out in the game, if that makes sense. So to me, again, I'm not all that disappointed about it. I wouldn't be surprised if we get a Randy Moss golden ticket anyway. Uh, I feel like we've gotten one in the past. I could be wrong on that, but I feel like somebody made a Randy Moss golden ticket in the past. So if that's not the case, uh, I apologize, but I think that's the case. 
But either way, I do think Randy Moss would be a good one to make a golden ticket of because it would be such a big upgrade from what he currently has. So right here we get a random campus hero card, but it's only a gold, so whatever. We pulled like, what, one freaking elite card in this entire pack opening video? Man, EA is some trash right now. But uh, we're going to be down here to about two more packs left. So I want to hear from you guys. Do you agree with me? Do you, are you super disappointed that the Randy Moss doesn't have like massively better attributes than every other wide receiver? Or do you understand kind of why they're in the predicament that they are? Should they have waited to put out this Randy Moss so that they could make him an all 99 card, basically? I, I guess that's the ar other argument that I think you could make. Uh, you know, maybe put out some of these other wide receivers who are not quite as good as Randy Moss now and wait to put out the Randy Moss later. I don't know, but uh, let me know in the comment section below guys what you think about it I want to hear from you. I'm really interested in knowing but I hope you guys enjoyed this video Sorry, we couldn't pull anything. It's just that's just Madden this year you guys if you've opened up packs You know, but I wanted to talk about the Randy Moss thing So again guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thanks for all the support Hope you guys enjoyed it Make sure you drop a like and subscribe if you're new and I will talk to you guys again soon